So when I was working on my Skate 3 DLC video, I said in the video that I really wanted to skate the art gallery. But I had to go on with the video because it was about DLC and not skating spots. So here we are again today, playing the art gallery because I really want to skate some spots at the art gallery. And in the comments of that video, some of you have actually requested some challenges from the art gallery as well. So that's even more of a reason to make this video today. I want to skate the art gallery and some of you guys have got some challenges. And the first challenge that we'll be looking at comes from Luis Alvarez and it says, can you clear that double stair set you passed by at 644? So I went back and looked at the video and the double set he's talking about is right there in front of us beyond the barrier. So let's just hop over the barrier and we'll go and try that double set. So I've actually tried to do that double set before just in some free time that I had while I was just messing around on the game. And uh, <laughs> there is a spot up here that sort of gives you a speed boost. I'll show you guys in a second, but I'm going to get rid of those manual pads down there. And they're gone. Okay, so if you start right here, you can get a running start. Hopefully I can get this. And it sort of gives you a speed boost. But I don't, I don't think it ever gave me enough to actually land it. And you got to be pretty quick about it. And the speed boosts don't always work. And sometimes you even land into a grind on this, which messes everything up. See, it gives you a little bit of speed, but still not enough to clear this. And there I go into a grind. I want to try this a couple more times just to see if I can make it. I think I've clipped the last step before and uh, <laughs> it obviously didn't work out, but I'm going to try it today. Okay, I think that's as far as I'm going to be able to go on that one. So I think what I'll do is I'll try to get some speed by going down this hill. And uh, I'm just going to show you guys what I'm talking about. It's easier to show you than explain. And when I have enough speed, I think I'll clear this and then ride off of this without grinding. And then hopefully I'll have enough speed in the end to actually clear that double set. See, I'll be going downhill like this the whole time but then it'll level out and I'll probably slow down and I don't want that to happen. I want to slow down as little as possible. Let's see how much speed I get just from this alone. And that's not a lot. I feel like I'm about to slow down. Hopefully we can still clear this. All right. Maybe we have enough speed from that. And I hit the rail. So I have an idea. I'm going to try to do three heel flips. I'll do one right there, one right there, and then one right there. Then I'll try to air over this, land in the grass, and hopefully I'll have enough speed and the pop to get over that. Let's try that out. All right. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> I thought maybe that was going to work. It looks like it almost did. I just need to do better, I think. All right. Don't land into a grind. Now pop out. Oh, there it is. I knew. I knew I could make it work. <laughs> Just a regular ollie though. I want to do something more than just a plain ollie though. I would like to do something nolly or maybe something fakey on it. But I really don't know if I have enough time to actually hit anything nolly or fakey. Just because I need to have time to pop. And plus I'm worried that... If I go into fakey, things things like that are going to happen. But let's do it fakey. Let's do like a, so maybe a fakey half cap flip. Yeah, let's do that. The half cap flip. Let's do it. I think we can make it happen. Let's get our three hill flips. And wow, that was terrible. And that, it got even worse. You know, a fakey big spin would probably also look really nice. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do the fakey big. I'm not really sure. I'm debating. Oh, okay. Okay. We got a bigger flip there. <laughs> a fakey bigger flip. Whatever. I think I'll take it. It looked really nice.
So I think I said Faggy Bigger Flip. I meant to say Faggy Bigger Hill. I don't think it really matters though. And uh, I really wasn't meaning to do a laser flip. I know that I do a lot of laser flips on this channel, but I wasn't meaning to do one right there. I just I actually just wanted a fakey big spin. I just I flicked it too hard. So our next challenge comes from Mitch Walcott. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Back at 726 in this video, have you attempted to clear the stairs next to the mini mega ramp? I have tried many times and cannot clear them. So I'm right beside the Mini Mega right now. I think I know what stairs he's talking about. Hopefully these are the right ones because that's what I'm going to be trying. And uh, it's these stairs right here beside of the Mini Mega. Uh, is the impact going to be too much for that? I have no idea. Let's try to get a running start right here. And oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know if I can get a running start and just be able to clear it like that. So the hardest thing is gonna be like turning into it like that and actually heading straight down it because I do want to go like straight down the stairs, but I really don't think it's gonna work out like this. I think maybe I can get on top of this building, set up a quarter pipe right here and pop off really quick. And I think that should work. It should definitely work. I should have the speed that I need for that. So I don't like having to get on top of buildings, but you know, if that's what I gotta do, that's what I gotta do. And how far does it go up? Okay, maybe I can make it over to the building on the left. And I don't even know if it's gonna let me do this. So I have a feeling that this is gonna be a big waste of time. I don't want it to be a big waste of time. Hopefully the top of this building's solid. Uh, from the looks around me though, I don't think it is gonna be. And it looks like the top is solid. Is this the only solid top around here it's like the game is like hey i want you to do it look at that little arrow down there you guys see that you guys see that arrow what does that arrow mean i've almost made it oh man if i could just jump up there ah uh, yes i've made it is it gonna let me stay yes <laughs> i've made it up here guys that's awesome so I've got a quarter pipe placed right here. I'm going to have to pop as soon as I land into it. All right. Is it going to? All right. Okay. I can make this work. I can make it work. <laughs> I thought for sure I was going to have more problems, but who knows? Maybe I will. I haven't landed yet. So I'm thinking maybe a backside flip would be nice. Oh yeah. We got that. As long as the impact will hold, we got that. Okay, then <laughs> that worked out great, but it wasn't the backside flip I wanted. And that was a really late ghetto bird. So I guess we'll call that a late ghetto bird. Uh, how many steps was that? I need to go back and count them. So I counted 56 steps. <laughs> I could be wrong. Maybe by one or two. I could be off by a lot, but I counted 56. Maybe I could do a nolly backside flip to replace that last backside flip that I want to do, but I end up doing a ghetto bird anyways. Okay. What? Was the impact like, was the impact too much for that? Seriously? I just landed that last one. <laughs> now why can't I get that? Wouldn't it be crazy if the impact is too much and the only way to actually land this is to do a late trick down it because you don't pop up in the air. You just, I guess, pop out. And I just happened to get lucky with that ghetto bird by doing a late pop. Okay. <laughs> Got the late nolly backside flip. So I'm sorry, dude, if that's not quite what you wanted. I did land it though. <laughs> so maybe you'll be happy with that. So our next challenge comes from Ray Ray Araballo, I guess. Please, the four set at the art gallery. I will allow a ramp, just no glitches or clipping. Now he has posted some comments in the past wanting me to do this quad set at the art gallery. So let's go down there and check it out. So you guys know what I'm talking about. So I'm not really sure what quad set he's talking about. I think there's a quad set over here on the right side and I think it's right here. So yeah, I believe this is a quad set. Yep. It looks like a quad set or a four set as they call it. 
So I think the problem with this would be the run up. It looks like I could still have pretty good run up coming through here, but I think it would be a lot easier to do the one on the left side of the art gallery. And I think the one on the left side is actually a five set instead of a quad set. So it'd be like sort of a one up, but they're both the same size. Or maybe this one's a little bit longer. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. I have no idea which one's longer. They could both be the same size. But I do believe this is a five set. So there's three, and then there's four, and then there's five. All right. So ever since I seen their first comment talking about this quad set, well, it's gonna be a five set now. I've actually been trying to work on it and uh, practice on it, trying to find out the best way to get speed for this and still be able to do it flat to flat without putting a ramp here at the top. And I think I found a way. So how I've been practicing is I get to the top of that building, I stack up some containers and then I set a, a speed ramp down here. I launch into the speed ramp, then Ollie about three times and I've almost got it down there. I think I'll have just enough speed to make it. I'm going to try to make it in this video. And so the way I've been getting to the top of that building is just do a manual pad glitch right here. And then I'll get onto that building up directly in front of us. All right. And that seemed to work. Okay. And then I'm going to have to use a launch glitch to get up to the next one. I mean, I don't have to, but it's a little bit easier. Okay. Now stay there. Please stay there. Thank you. Okay. We made it up here. Next. What I want to do is set my marker about right here. Do another manual pad glitch. I'm going to stack the manual pads up as tall as that little, um, whatever that is. Actually, we'll just stack it up as tall as we can get it because I'm going to replace this with containers. So we got that right there. All right. Let's head back down and replace these with some containers. And we'll put this one right there and this one right there. Now there's one more thing I want to do. I want to place some containers on this side as well. And you'll see why in just a second. Actually, I think we'll use the T-Mobile manual pad. There we go. And we'll bring it out to the end and you want to bring it over the tip of that right there. So let's move this back. Okay. How about right there? Okay. It's right there at the tip and you'll want to stand right here at the tip because this is going to let your object dropper come up and then we'll stack up some manual pads and uh, we'll, we'll stack them up as high as we can. And then we'll replace the manual pads with some more containers. We're going to be four containers high. And we're also going to add a slide up here so I can gain more speed for when I launch out into the ramp. All right. And now we're going to find out where we're dropping at, which is about right there. And I want to have it sort of sideways because as soon as I land, I don't want to hit this. I want to be able to ollie over it. Okay, let's try this out. Now the toughest thing is always landing into the ramp and actually rolling away with it. But that's what I need to do. Okay. All right. I think I can make this work. Oh, uh, oh uh, man. If I want to hit that thing, <laughs> if I want to hit that ledge, I think I could have got that. Nice. Okay. Now make this work. Oh, oh, right there. I just need to make it past that top step and I think I have it. And yes, I am going to do a laser flip on this and I'm going to use a melon just in case I need it. I'm going to put it there just in case I need it. Maybe I won't need it, but <laughs> I need all the help I can get. I just want to land this. I'm so close to that. How close am I though? And my game crashed. So I got to go back and rebuild everything again. I'm just going to skip ahead to when I finally get it. Oh, this is the one. Nice. Yes. <laughs> but I didn't roll away with it. I don't care. I still rolled away for like a split second. At least I landed. All right, let's see how far he popped out there. I mean, you could tell instantly that that was the one. I don't even think I needed a melon for it. Yeah, I went way out there. I didn't need a melon for that. I'm just sad that I wasn't able to roll away more than that, but this took forever, so I'm going to take it.
So I know it wasn't the quad set, but it was the five set. My first five set. It'll probably be the only five set I do in Skate 3 because I don't know of any other five sets. Let me know in the comments below where I can find another one. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that bell so you actually get notified when I upload. Let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.